welcome to Preview. Um, this reading is going to be for the water signs Pisces. So if you are a sun, moon, rising, or you are a cross watcher, or even if Pisces is your north node, then this reading can be for you. All right, so let's get started. Okay. Whew. All right. So this love reading, um, I was going to do it in February, but a lot of different things that I needed to work on um, outside of my tarot readings. So I do apologize um, for the delay in this reading, um, but thank you so much for watching it. And just so you know, moving forward, um, I definitely will be doing this more on a monthly basis. Um, as well as if you would like a personal reading, please do check out my website, freeview.com. Thank you. All right. So um, as I just split the deck for the second time, I see rainbow blessings in love, compassion. So definitely blessings in love or in your relationship. Um, I just heard new relationship for some people. For some of you, this could be an old relationship that you're still working on. Or, wow, love and completion with this full moon. So maybe some of you have completed something, completed an old cycle in love with someone. Two cards fell out at the bottom. A completion, a new beginning. Oh my gosh, I'm keeping these. I'm keeping these. So what it seems like is you have completed an old cycle and you are creating a new beginning for yourself or a new cycle has just begun um, for some of you. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle this a couple more times and we get into this reading. Well, and get a couple more cards for everyone for the beautiful water sign of Pisces. And thank you guys so much once again for watching my video. I truly do appreciate it. All right. Let's get started. All right. Thank you guys so much for the beautiful messages that have come through to Pisces. Please give me two more beautiful cards. Oh, beautiful. The wolf instinct. And right under that was wind activation. So definitely using your instincts moving forward is going to be helpful for you guys. Um, one more card for Pisces, please. Wow, I got two. Beautiful. Thank you. We have the Shaman, Ancient Healing Wisdom. And then our last beautiful card is Gaia Nurturing, which is perfect for this love reading. I love that because in love, you need to be nurturing sometimes. And under that, we have the Lotus Flower Unfoldment. So definitely moving forward. It seems like a lot of things are unfolding in your life right now. What you need to do is follow your instincts moving forward. Listen to your intuition. And also follow your heart. So some of you is also working on self-love at this time. It's going to be very helpful. Um, is what I'm feeling for some people. Or if not all. I just heard all. Sorry. <laughs> um, definitely for all people. You want to work on your self-love. Um, this may be a time for you to not only use your instincts and intuition, but also following your heart as you are moving towards new beginnings. Um, this will be definitely a good time for you to follow your heart um, and go after your dreams and desires. I'm hearing as long as they don't hurt anyone. So maybe some of you are, you know, I don't know, maybe, maybe you're hurting someone by moving like moving forward or like completing certain cycles maybe you had to hurt someone um maybe some of you guys need to get over the past hurt or maybe you guys have hurt someone some of you um have hurt people to move forward in your life which is okay um marrying selfish and selfless um and sometimes that does happen in love and relationships as well um what i'm going to do now is just try to get some more information but before i do that i'm also picking up more on this ancient healing wisdom so maybe this different um healing like i'm hearing like energy so for some of you guys doing like the healing energies or energetic work um some of you guys could also be light workers or be people who do that as well which would be pretty awesome if you do but definitely looking into other practices um to help you to really to really um, follow your instincts a little bit more. But not only that, but to really heal yourself and show yourself that self-love. Um, so, this this lovely part of this reading was from the Earth Magic deck. If you are interested in the decks that I do use, they are listed below in the description box. 
as well as any of my links. All right. So as I split the deck, what I'm seeing here is card number 18, anxiety. On hearing, let go. So you need to let go of whatever anxiety you have holding you back from following your dreams or following your instincts for some. Um, I'm even hearing following your heart for others, like going after what you love. Um, don't let anxiety or fear get in the way. Know that love conquers all. And then with the, alongside that, the thinking woman. Now, this thinking woman could also be a thinking man if you're a male watching this. Um, so that is just like, once again, like you're following your, oh sorry, once again, you're like following your instincts, following your mind, you're trying to like map things out logically moving forward. Um, but definitely don't forget about the emotional aspects of yourself as, uh, as Pisces, water signs, you are very emotional. So definitely maybe some of you guys are stepping more into that. I'm hearing Aries for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but maybe some of you guys are stepping more into like, um, I'm going to say like a logical standpoint or like perspective of, of things. I'm also seeing the door to spirit. So maybe you guys, once again, you guys are working on like healing yourself, maybe looking into spirituality. For some of you guys, maybe you're doing research um, in those areas. Or maybe some of you guys would like to get a little bit more in tuned and closer to spirit, to God, you know, moving forward. I thank you guys so much for these beautiful messages that have come through. Thank you so much for all of the beautiful readings thus far. Please help me to get some beautiful messages for Pisces. The water side of Pisces and love. Any messages for Pisces? Okay, so first thing that popped up was hostilities. So maybe some people are being very hostile at this time. Under that was anxiety. I'm going to take a few of these, honey. So what I'm also seeing here with this third chakra popping out is something that you need to speak on. This may be hostility or anxiety. Maybe you need to speak out against these type of energies around you. Or maybe there's people who are hostile around you. And that could be worrisome to you. Um, but I feel as though you don't need to worry about those people. Those people who can be envious or just haters or naysayers. Don't worry about them moving forward. Um, and with this third chakra, which is your throat chakra, um, it speaks mainly to like communication, um, instincts, like a whole bunch of different things, you know, of that nature, but more, more so just using your voice, um, and maybe you need to use your voice against some of these types of issues, maybe seeking help, on um, hearing counseling for some people, um, so let me see, let me read up a little bit on that for you, the throat chakra, so the key issues here are the self-expression, communication, and will, beautiful, the inner aspect is expression, the physical action is communication, the mental action is your fluent thought, and the emotional action is independence, and spiritual action is security. Alright. Alrighty. And then also under that, what I'm seeing is the broken heart. So maybe you guys have gotten your heart broken, and maybe that has also been making you yourself feel very hostile towards people or towards people coming towards you with love offers. Um, you know, I'm not saying like, you know, you should just let your guard down, but follow your instincts moving forward when it comes to love. You may be a little anxious about some of these new beginnings. Um, and like, as I said in the beginning of the video, like maybe it's new relationships for some people and maybe this has you anxious because of past hurt. Um, try not to allow that to deter you or to hold you back. Honestly, communication and open communication to whomever you are in a relationship with or are pursuing at this time is going to be most helpful for you um, and possibly also moving forward. And under that, I also see patience and the garden and the gate and yin and yang. So what I'm pretty much getting from these three cards here is you need to be patient with the process. You need to be patient with yourself. That's probably also why I'm seeing like this nurturing card. Patience is key. Not only that, but with the garden and the gate, you are creating something new, this new beginning in your life, and you want to protect that, which is understandable. With the yin and yang, you also want to bring balance into your life. So I'm going to go ahead and put these down here under our nurturing card patience focus on what it is your dreams your goals and aspirations 
But be patient with yourself. Be patient with the process. Whatever it is that you are creating, make sure that you are also protecting yourself. Or, um, I'm hearing for some, you know, um, you also want to protect yourself or whatever it is that you are creating. So this could be a new business. Make sure you're doing the proper paperwork. Um, make sure you're doing, like, everything you need to do. I'm hearing taxes for some people. Um, making sure you're doing whatever it needs to be done to make sure this new beginning for you is secure. But don't make that make you anxious. Like we said earlier, the thinking woman, um, you know, you're thinking about it. So once again, follow your instincts, but don't get too wrapped up in your head, you know, and go overboard. But definitely just be patient, um, be calm, and focus on balancing yourself out. When you balance yourself out, that's going to help in the long run to really bring in um, things for you. Um, I'm also seeing for some people, you just need to rest and rejuvenate because you could also be tied up. So some people could be overworking at this time because of whatever it is, this new beginning that's gotten you all worried. But at the same time, you also need to remain calm. You need to keep that balance within yourself as well. All right. Well. Thank you, God, for those beautiful messages that have come through. Um, and thank you for this beautiful reading for Pisces. Please help me to get some more information on this new beginning for Pisces. What is this new beginning? Oh, well, um, okay. So, again, again, so I, it seems like there's, like, just energy around you guys. Whether this is you or energy around you, like, hostile, envious people, um, you know, all these negative type of low vi vibratory energies, um, you know, you really don't need to worry about that in this new beginning. Yes, there may be people who are going to be envious of you being successful. Again, you don't need to worry about that. I don't know, but it just keeps, that just keeps popping up. So, these two beautiful cards just popped up for me. Okay, so the first one on top, the journey. This is the new beginning you are moving forward on. To a new journey but the thinking woman there's a lot of things that you're thinking about as you see here she has this beautiful book in her hand so again being very studious trying to do the work needed on this journey not only that there's a butterfly here i'm not sure if you guys can see it a little butterfly in there for me that symbolizes transformation and part of my transformation is so i have my little butterfly ring but anyways <laughs> Um, but you know, that's exactly how it can be for some of you as well. Like you're really transforming at this time and throughout this year, and that's going to be really good for you. And again, rest and rejuvenation is going to be very helpful. So maybe you guys are doing a lot of hard work, but don't forget you need to rest and rejuvenate to keep that balance within yourself. And under that adjacent possibilities are definitely coming in. Some of you may have had financial constraints in the past. But, with the world card here, that it's coming to an end. Whatever financial constraints you have had, that is coming to an end at this time. And throughout this year, all you need to do is continue to stay balanced, focused, and a lot of possibilities, and you know, are really coming at this time. A lot of doors are opening for you at this time. Do not worry of the financial constraints of the past, or even if you do have financial constraints now, you need to also be patient with that. Because that is also part of the process. All right. Woo. <laughs> a lot of messages for you guys today. It's been a while. <laughs> so there's a lot I need to, to tell you guys. All right. Let's see. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull a couple cards from my beautiful positive message deck. And thank you, God, once again for all these lovely, lovely um you know, messages that have come through for Pisces, but really, truly what I'm seeing here, I'm not seeing, I mean, I am seeing love for some people outside of yourself, but what I'm really getting is a lot of self-love, so maybe some of you guys are really, you know, oh, whoa, a lot of things stuff up, um, but, you know, self-love is going to be really big at this time, is what I'm really seeing for Pisces in 2020. So focusing more on yourself and, you know, remember how earlier I was saying, like, selfless and selfish, well, selfish and selfless. So maybe that's what it is. Like, you are trying to find that balance between, you know, being selfless, but also being a little selfish with your, 
your own energy, your own time, and your own love towards yourself. Because as Pisces, as water signs, we're always being very loving towards others, but a lot of the time not towards ourselves. So maybe that's what some of you guys need to work on as well to really follow your dreams. The first card that popped out, oh my gosh, this is awesome. Oneness is my true nature. Oneness is my true nature. The universe has my back. Beautiful. Obstacles are detours in the right direction. Absolutely. So with all of those, whatever tries to get in your way, you know, these envious people, these people with hostilities, any of your own, like, insecurities, like, as far as anxiety or, you know, even just heartbreaks in general or financial constraints that you're going through, um, you know, you are really moving in the right direction, you know, on the path or on the journey, there's going to be a lot of different things, a lot of tests I'm hearing as well, um, for some that you're going to go through and that's going to make you stronger and that's also going to show you that you are on the right path because you are learning the skills necessary to move forward. You are taking those steps forward. All right. And then under that, the key to prayer is to forget what I think I need. I love that one. <laughs> I love that one. Absolutely. Forget what it is that you think you need and just make sure that you just continue to believe. All right. Beautiful. And now I'm going to use these lovely chakra cards. For the very first time, I'm going to use these for us beautiful Pisces. So let's get started. Oh my goodness. I'm going to shuffle them really nice because it's the first time. So I just want to make sure to shuffle it all the way through. And then whatever pops out is whatever pops out for you guys. So this is going to be stuff that you guys can work on when it comes to your seven chakras to help really balance you guys out moving forward. I'm going to do it one more time. Oh, I love it. Perception and faith. Beautiful, beautiful. Mm-hmm. I definitely love that. I love that. All right, beautiful. Let's get started. Oh, I'm gonna make sure I put these on the right. All right, perfect. I just need to get upside down cards. <laughs> all right, perfect. Thank you, God, for all the beautiful messages I have come through for Pisces. Please help me to get a few cards out of this beautiful chakra deck for the Pisces. For Pisces, any messages? Victim. Oh, okay. Oh, and under that, release. Oh my gosh, I love that. That goes perfect. Wow. Wow. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Just got deep. Okay, so some of you, again, with this broken heart, is coming up again, are feeling like a victim. But you need to release whatever it is, whatever anger, grief, whatever, even rejection for some of you guys. Like, this broken heart could have brought you to a place where you're feeling rejected, you're feeling anxious, you're feeling like, oh my gosh, when will I find love? But you know what? If it is destined to be, then it will be. If not, then whatever is destined for you will be. Dissipating. I feel like this is like, you know, you're growing older, wiser. Like here, using your wisdom and instincts. It's very wise. But also learning to forgive. And finding gratitude to God, to Gaia, Mother Nature, for all the blessings that have come into your life. All right, so, whoo, <laughs> that has been your lovely love reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you would like more information or more personal reading, please do check out my website, greenview.com. Thank you.